Kia bros, and welcome to VDB TV. I'm your host, VDB, and today I've managed to snag myself a replay early from the s main stage of the 2v2 tournament. I said I was going to post them all up as soon as I got them. This is the only replay I've managed to get so far. Uh, allegedly, the replay is coming out on Wednesday, so that's why I haven't posted anything in a couple of days. I've just been harassing people trying to get these replays. So on Wednesday, I should start uploading all the replays. But I've got a stage one between Pro Daywalker, Bro Randy, Kung Fu Panda, and Zhao. First map is Fallen Dell. I think this is the second map. The first map is Shallow Straits. I would I would like to have seen different maps for the main stage than the ones that they used on the qualifiers. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I said I was going to give everybody team names. I don't have team names prepared but we'll see how they play and we'll see what i can come up with so for flip zao we have an armada commander whole lot of wind coming out from zao here and a couple of llts bit of a strange starting spot here we haven't seen the starting spot yet so it's interesting to see this is he gonna build anything or is he gonna just chill bit of a strange opener here i'm very interested i'm just gonna watch him for a minute see what he does here just some more energy. And then he's going to come all the way over here. He's not even going to build. This is... This is crazy. Okay, we'll come we'll come back to him. His teammate, Kung Fu Panda, uh, Cortex Vehicles, not building a whole lot. And he's... He's just got a couple of wind and one mix, and he's getting units out already. This is... This is the strangest opening we've seen yet. Madness. Okay, okay. Uh, looks like more of a standard opener here for the blue team. Randy going Cortex Bots. His teammate Daywalker going Cortex Bots as well. We'll be trying to fight off this super early mega harass from Kung Fu Panda here. A fair bit of damage getting done to Daywalker here. Looks like Zhao has some units out now. Oh, he's been given units by Kung Fu Panda. Okay, I see what's going on here. Looks like he's just expanding, trying to get that economy up and running as soon as he can. Is this the best way to do it? Who knows? Who knows? Looks like the red team is behind an economy at the moment, so... so we'll see, see what their thinking is. Maybe someone better at the maths than me can figure that out. There is some other spectator tools I've seen people using, like... Like the, the metal difference, like the income difference and all that stuff, but we can just do the maths ourselves here. I don't, I don't want to have too many widgets up. Man, Daywalker is just getting hammered by this early harass here. Especially by vehicles, they're just... Even though they're doing that, it's still Red Team is still behind on economy. But I'm assuming Zhao wants to try and snowball. Looks like Taku, the... Is it Taku or Kitaku? I'm gonna go Taku, because I've heard other people call him Taku. He's a legend, I'm pretty sure he's the dude who organised it all. Very well done, Taku. Looks like he's connecting to cast it. Got four spectators. All right, so let's think about team names while we while we watch this. Mm. Kung Fu Panda and Zhao. Strange opening here. We got Daywalker and Randy. Daywalker's a nod to Blade, I'm pretty sure. Randy, ah, uh, Andy, as in the bottom of Woody's shoe. All my 90s babies out there, you know what I'm talking about. What about Team Vampire Toy? It's, oh, God, it's a terrible name. I think I'm going to go with it, though. I think I'm going to go with it. Team Vampire Toy, Vampire Sheriff, Vampire Sheriff, because Woody was a sheriff. There we go. Team Vampire Sheriff for the red team. Looks like Sal's finally getting the vehicle lab up. 4 minutes 40 in. Absolute madness. Massive push coming out from the blue team here, from Team Vampire Sheriff. It's going to be hard to keep a straight face casting this with that name. Kung Fu Panda and Zhao. I don't know what Zhao is in reference to here. Kung Fu Panda, obviously a 
big belly kung fu boy who likes to eat. It's me, it's me. Looks like Daywalker's paying back kung fu for, or panda I guess I should just call him, for the early aggression that he visited upon him. Oh, Randy looking to take out these mexes and, and all this energy. Let's see if this is a great idea for Zhao or not. It might bite him in the ass. Oh, he will lose all that production. All that time at the start wasted. One one more LLT might have been able to defend that. Oh, it looks like Kung Fu Panda's getting that harassment back pretty rough. These guys won't be able to do too much more damage. The income's evening up a little bit here. Red team falling behind on the energy production. Still got to think of a name for these guys. Still got to think of a name for these guys. Hmm. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go for bamboo train. I t don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I'm um, just everybody get on the bamboo train. So we got vampire sheriff and bamboo train here. If the teams don't like the names, bugger them. You should have given me names before the tournament started. Alright. There's a team vampire sheriff here. Doing some damage to Kung Fu Panda, keeping that harass up. Looks like they're going to get the construction vehicle. That will go down. Trying to stop them from getting any sort of economy out. See, he's got some guys up the north here and they will start coming in. It's about to say they're up there ready to harass whenever they can. Vampire Sheriff managing to contain both of the players for Bamboo Train into their starting areas. It's very high level play here. I would be smashing my keyboard if I was either of these players here for Bamboo Train. Looks like the Sheriff part of Vampire Sheriff is coming in for a little assault. Oh, nice double kill for Janus there. Gotta love a Janus. Stout coming out ready to take some shots. Looks like Randy has secured a lot of middle income here for his team. You can see here they're 10 middle ahead. A couple of incisors out for Daywalker. Must have been revived because I don't think either player has vehicles. Yep. And let's check the army tabs really quick. See 38 and 39, that gives us 77 of the weak T1 units out for blue team, the team Vampire Sheriff, and for team Bamboo Train, only a total of 24 of the weakest units. The massive difference there. You can see here, team Vampire Sheriff has a massive army still. There's a very sticky situation here for Bamboo Train. Bamboo Train, we got a Canadian and an American. I mean, that's just where they're playing from. So, uh, you know. I hope I'm not being culturally insensitive here. Looks like Team Bamboo Train's looking to catch up on the economy. But Team Vampire Sheriff's almost in that snowball position. If they, if Team Bamboo Train doesn't do something soon, are going to get to that snowball position and it's just going to cost them dearly. Oh, the rocket bot's coming out here for Randy. Zell looking to deny the dip and hopefully take it himself, but I mean, Team Vampire Sheriff just has the units to to pull off these, these raiding parties. There's not a whole lot that Bamboo Train can really do about this. So they're completely undermanned here. This, this 
might not be great news for Zhao here. I'd say that start that he had was really ill-advised. Not sure if he's tried that before and pulled it off or if it was just a spur of the moment type thing. But you can see here Randy will be driving his spurs into his side. Yeah, a little bit of wordplay there. Meanwhile Daywalker going to push forward with his own rocket bots. Secure this dip. Brandy can secure just one of these nexes in the dip. I think that will be sufficient for them to be in the snowball position here. Especially with the army size they've got. It looks like they are thoroughly in that snowball position now because Kung Fu Panda's lost almost all of his income and he is getting assaulted from every which direction. You can see the energy income is almost triple. Well, it was almost triple, now it's just double. But still. Kung Fu Panda looking to get a D gun off. That's not quite have the energy yet. Uh oh. He's got the energy now, but now his command is just far too low and he will go down along with his factory. I don't even know if he's got any construction bots. Uh he's got three. Construction vehicles. Does reclaim the factory straight away. Cheering his metal to Zhao. Realizes that he is out of the game and it's all up to Zhao now. The brakes on the bamboo train have been engaged. Maybe they laid a log over the tracks or something. Maybe it was a train full of bandits. It's looking to me like Team Vampire Share is going to take out game one here. Let's check out the base layout really quick while they just keep harassing. Just got some grave robbers coming out here for Randy. Got a few few windmills, 23, decent amount, a couple solar collectors probably from the start of the game, you see he's got exploiters in the f on the front, I'm surprised that's not an exploiter, or that, commander died down here, it was probably Randy's, meanwhile Daywalker just pumping out units, the old trusty aggravator grunt build, and Fu Panda's fully gone now, now that he's cleaned up they will both just come straight for Zao. Ganises are amazing, but super slow and not, not great if you're on the back foot. Really more of a, if you're winning kind of thing, or if, if you need to break a stalemate type deal. Looks like Zao's transferred into... Transferred? Transitioned into... Yeah, not sure what's going on here. Some sort of shenanigans. Is he going to try and snipe a commander? It is... Oh no, it is 1v2. Wait. Oh, Randy's been revived. Oh no, I don't think Zal's realised. I don't think Zal's realised Randy's been revived. He thought this is a 1v1. Oh, and that's going to go down. That is GG for game 1. Team Vampire Sheriff will take that out. I think Kung Fu Panda was going for the snipe. It wouldn't matter because Randy was up anyway. They walk off the MVP in that match. Exciting stuff. I'll see you guys in the next round. Welcome back to game two of the first match in the main event between Team Vampire Sheriff and Team Bamboo Train. And the second map, as you can see, is Shallow Straits. So they've sort of changed it up. And the third map is a different map. Uh, I'm not quite sure what one it is we'll have to see in the next game uh, if, if it becomes a tiebreaker. So Shallow Straits version 1.0.1. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, so anyone that loses doesn't actually lose, like get kicked out of the tournament now that you're in the main bracket. They just go into the loser's bracket. So, the I'll do the first round of all the teams first, and then I'll do the entirety of the loser's bracket. And, oh, well I'll do the loser's bracket, and then I'll go winner's bracket, and then the losers of that bracket, and then the winner's bracket will be the finals of that one. So that, that's the order I'll do it in. So I'll go these, then losers, winners, losers, winners. Alright. Randy 
Vortex going bots in the back position here. Well, not the very back position, but backish. Daywalker Armada vehicles. He's got a rover out already. Meanwhile, on the red side, we've got Zhao going straight to air plants with a cute little square around it from one of the spectators. And his teammate, Panda, going Kung Fu Panda, going bots Cortex here. Looks like the, there's going to be a little battle here. And he will slip past. Will he get past this next one? Oh, he needs to. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, terrible aim from the grunt. Oh, he does get past. Probably on one shot. He's on four health. So he will scout the aircraft plant. And so, oh, Jesus Christ, excuse me, and survive. He even got a mix. He even got a mix. That MVP, sorry. So, yeah, he scouted the aircraft plant. MVP rover there. He didn't ping it, though, but maybe they're on Discord or something. Looks like Randy's going to be reclaiming his bot lab. Maybe he's going to be going into aircraft plant 2 to try and counter the aircraft. On this map, all I'd probably do is chuck down some AA, but I guess shurikens. And that is what comes out first, a shuriken. For that early aggression, shurikens are great. But it just takes one one AA turret, and shurikens are pretty pretty useless at the start. You can see an AA turret coming up at the back here. Randy's not reclaiming his lab anymore. Is that AA or is that a construction turret? I think it's a construction turret, right? That is a construction turret, okay. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, my sound seems to have gone. Give me one second. All right, apparently F6. Ah, there we go. I don't know how I pushed F6. Cool, cool, cool. All right, mute disabled. We are back, baby. Looks like Zao will be sharing a Hercules to his buddy O pal. Which will be coming straight to pick up the commander here and drop him off at the top of the dog bone. So it looks like team... Can he pick him up when he's underwater? No, he can't. Cheeky cheeky. Uh... Oh, Randy's slipping into a shipyard. Nice. Very nice, very nice. A little bit of skirmish in the front. Kung Fu Panda no longer going to the top of the dog bone. Oh, bombing run. It's one metal extractor. Looks like Kung Fu Panda will be forced off the bottom of the dog bone here. Probably would have been better for him to go to the top of the dog bone and get that economy up and running. I think they scouted... Yep, they did scout the shipyard, so they will see that shipyard coming out. It looks like Zal's reclaiming the aircraft plant. Not quite sure what he's going to go into here. Looks like Daywalker will be the first one to claim metal extractors on the dog, on the dog bone. Randy going straight to the tip of the dog bone. Yes, yeah, so Taku was the organizer, saying he can't cast because he's trying to organize everybody into these matches. He did an amazing job of organizing this. Uh, hats off to him. Very well done. Planning on donating for the next tournament that they organize for some prize money. Hope they get more people interested in it. Or if, or if the next one's going to be too far away, just host, host my own one, like just a small tournament. Not a whole bunch of money, but you know, just try and get people interested in the game. Destroyers coming out for Randy here. So he's got some AA, but they don't know that Zao doesn't have here anymore. Team Bamboo Train doesn't have here anymore. 
Zal's going into shipyard, get some earrings out. Not too familiar with the boats on either team. A little more familiar with armada boats, but obviously both these guys are Cortex, so uh, we'll be checking. So oppressors versus earrings. Bit of an assault gun going on here. I do like the use of the radar on the roof here, top of the mountain. That's pretty sweet. They do see that there's a radar up there. Not sure if these guys can actually hit it. Missile truck probably can. Some rocket bots coming out from the Kung Fu Panda. Try to drive off this boat. Randy taking that little island. Do they see him? They don't see him yet. Sonar boat. Not sure if sonar works at like a radar too, or if it's just on the ground. See here, Team Vampire Sheriff have taken their half of the map thoroughly. If they manage to capture this dog bone entirely, they will be in the snowball position. So we'll see how they go. They've taken out this radar and, and the LLT that was up there. There's a thug up there. Oh, launched! <laughs> that's amazing. Don't take full damage though, that's good to know. Ooh, that thug is in danger. Oh, that was an amazing little launch. So we got a hearing out, I mean a just oppressor out for Zhao as well. Little naval battle going on, looks like Kung Fu Pandas built uh, vehicles at the front, getting his own missile trucks out. Genesis. Uh, missile trucks must be there to counter the Genesis. Yarnesis. Got an even little battle here. Let's check the eco. Team Vampire Sheriff slightly ahead, but that is because they've got their half of the dog bone in both these islands, although they are slowly losing the top island. Looks like a little reach around coming from Daywalker here. The Vampire Heart of Half of Vampire Sheriff. Light amphibious tanks. Gonna be doing some work. See these quite hard for them to get up, so they will be slowed significantly. Oh, barely even moving. Especially when my FPS just randomly drops to nine. First cast of the day, so that, that normally happens in the first cast. Oh, they do a fair amount of damage. Two shot on the extractors. And on the windmills, turbines, that's, oof, hammering straight into um, Zal's economy here. He's not going to be having fun. The shuriken's coming out, they will stun this, not before it can get a turbine. Two turbines? Let's get two turbines, it takes quite a lot to stun him. There you go, now he's stunned. Got a permanent stun on him. The commander will get transported over to take out that one tank. Decent damage from two, two vehicles. Well played, Daywalker. Well played. Looks like Randy has a slight upper hand in the water here. They do lose that top island, but they are passing an assault on the top of the dog bone here. Check out the bases really quick. Looks like Randy's still just going economy and ships. Daywalker's going vehicles and economy. He's getting a construction turret up for that juicy juicy build tower. Is that a T2? Looks like he's switching into T2 right now, 10 minutes in. Bad man. Looks like Zhao, ah oh, Zhao, Kung Fu Panda's gonna be trying to come in for his own little reach around here. He's gonna use the shuriken to scout. He's gonna see the anti-air tower, so he's gonna really risky to try and drop the commander in. See if he can get him in before he goes down. Oh lord! And there goes his commander straight into the water. That was... Oof. A little bit of micro mismanagement there from Kung Fu Panda. I bet he's feeling the pain on that one now. Zhao moving his ships along this 
this eastern side of the dog bone. Now they're out of position to defend. Brandon sees that. He pushes straight in with his ships. You can't degun boats. So you can reclaim them though if they stop. Oh not sure what Zell was doing there. He looks like he's just trying to harass, but he's left himself wide open to Randy. Oh, he didn't get a submarine in. That will be cleaned up quite quickly. How far off is this T2? It's stalling on metal, but it's a minute 30 ish. So it looks like Zell will be doing a fair amount of damage with these ships, but meanwhile, on the north side, Randy is now unmitigated, just doing whatever he pleases. Not sure if these shurikens are gonna get what they hope done. Yep, the little hearings here taking out the shurikens. Oh no. Bamboo train not looking great here. You can see they're falling behind. Team Vampire Sheriff looking to really get into that. Oh, and that's the GG. Both commanders go down. GG well played. Team Vampire Sheriff going to the winner's bracket and Bamboo Train going to the loser's bracket. I'll see you guys on Wednesday night or maybe even Thursday, depending on what time these replays come out, if indeed they come out at all. But rest assured, as soon as they do come out, I will be straight on to casting them for you guys. See you then.